it's really interesting you know we've we've started to try to look at china and understand it a little bit more and you know there are so many things that are different there that it is really really uh it's like another world um you know there are things in design things in test things in distribution things in marketing that all have impact so design for example it's actually really interesting there's a uh, this um sort of test that one I, I can't remember the exact source but there was a test that was done where a search engine uh, tried to do the Google style search engine which is effectively like simple uh, text box nothing else on the page um, and then they compared it with one where they had a text box and just like tons of blinking ads and all sorts of stuff all around it uh, and the one that people felt was simpler in China was the one with the blinking ads all around it Okay, because culturally, like, they're, you know, if you look at the scripts that they use, the language and how it's written and everything, when things are super simple, they feel like it's sparse. It actually feels daunting to them. Um, so the definition of simple has actually been driven by uh, and, and sort of elegant and simplicity and stuff comes, I think, from a lot from, like, Japanese culture, Western culture coming from Steve Jobs and Apple and stuff. So even at a base design level... When you think you're building simple, you're actually not building simple for China, potentially. So that's kind of at the design level. You then go into sort of um, just sort of development and testing. Like there's variations of the Android platform that are not Android anymore are being shipped on in like a multitude of devices. And um, if you look at that, they, they have hundreds and millions of people there. You know, the total number of Internet uh users in China now is larger than the population of the US right so like that's everybody <laughs> uh, so like the the total demographic there of, inter of, of internet users is super high and on mobile phones it's crazy high but they all have these sort of like sub variants of Android and they're you know I'm not saying sub variants in sort of a negative way like oh they're lesser some of the sub variants are actually better than stock Android um, and there's lots of different uh, sort of slight variations in how they're built. And so checking that our app works against all of them is really, really hard. You then take that and, and you double that with distribution. So before at least you're like, oh, I got to get in the app store. Well, now not, there's not one app store. There's seven app stores. And they're all with, you know, hundreds of millions of apps, hundreds of millions of downloads, right? So it's it's just, it's a different world. Like uh, <laughs> the definition of good is different. Uh, the the it's it's effectively it's its own sub world that doesn't sort of mimic the rest of the world, um, and so it's a huge huge sort of challenge to figure out how to be successful there.